All right, hey guys, welcome to another quick guide of Hogwarts Legacy. So in this one, I'm going to show you how to get your first broom and how to just start flying as soon as possible. So for this to be done, uh, there are a couple of requirements. Uh, so first, uh, let's talk about where you actually buy the broom, right? So you can buy your first broom in Hogsmeade, which is right next to Hogwarts, that first town that you visit. And it's going to be this shop right over here. It's called the Splint Witches Sporting Needs. Now, this uh, store is closed until you complete uh, various quests. And by various quests, I mean you just have to progress the main storyline and you also have to go to your classes. Because the more classes you go to, more classes will open up. So first you will start with the Charms class and the Dark Magic class. Then you'll have to go through the, uh, I think it's the Botany class, uh, where you like, you know, plant seeds. And then also the Potion class. Once all those classes are done, the Flying class will pop up. This is about three to five hours, depending on how fast you go of the main storyline, right? So if you go really fast, just main storyline, no side quest, about three and a half hours, this quest will pop up for you, which is the flying class. Once you complete the flying class, um, pretty much one of the NPCs will tell you, hey, go down to this sporting needs store. And that pretty much means, hey, it's finally open. But you can't really do it any other way. There's no way to get it right at the beginning of the game. Uh, you have to do the main storyline and the classes. Kind of like how you get all the main progression in the game. In, in this game, really. But now, I'm going to go into the store. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you need 600 gold. Which is not that hard to get after 4 or 5 hours of playing. Um, it's really just, you know, one of those like chests that like has eyes on it. That's a really good way to make gold. That's 500 gold. I'm also going to link down below how to actually open those chests if you don't know how to. But now, I'm going to go in. I'm going to buy it. And I'm going to go fly our broom. A new face. Wonderful. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows... Wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Alrighty, and now as you can see, um, most towns will not let you actually fly in them. Uh, I can't help but admire so Mr. let's get out of the town. Enthusiasm. Let's get out of the town and uh, actually get our broom out. Alrighty, now we're out of the town. All you have to do is you have to hold tab, and then you can either click here or press three. 
and your broom will be popping up right here. And um, obviously in the flying class, it's going to teach you how to actually um, fly the broom, but it's very simple. Uh, space is to go up, uh, controls to go down. This is if you're on PC, if you're on consoles, obviously they're going to teach you in the flying class exactly what it is. And then uh, left mouse button is to go fast. And that's pretty much it. And to dismount the broom, uh, let's go down with control. And then it's B. And there you go. That's how you do it. That's going to do it for me. And I'll see you guys in the next one.